guys, so as you would have seen from the title, today's video is going to be a hair tutorial. I'm very excited. So I just washed my hair before. Practically I'm going to show you how I go from this like completely wet mop of hair to like amazing kind of effortless waves. Because I am working with Tresa May on this video, I'm taking inspiration from a look at New York Fashion Week. So all Tresa May products were used in New York Fashion Week. They're like the hair care sponsor, which is pretty amazing considering you can buy their products at the supermarket. I think that's really cool. And of course it makes it easy for recreations because I know these products were actually used on the runway. So that look is what I'm going to be recreating today. I've been wearing it quite a lot recently and lots of you have been commenting on my Instagram being like, please do a video on how you style your hair. And I'm either wearing it natural or I'm using these products here to give it like a really beachy wave. My hair does have quite a natural wave to it, but you will know if you have a wavy or curly here that it just does not have a constant mood it has like intense mood swings like sometimes your hair will dry beautifully and sometimes it will just be like some mega puff sometimes it will be really limp sometimes it will be great so I like using these products because they actually make it have a consistent way like every time so anyway let's get started I'm just gonna start off with a regular hair dryer and blow dry my hair and I put in a little bit of product before I do so if you're wondering about what shampoo and conditioner I use I just use the matching ones from the range when I am using these products because it just makes them work together a lot better. I have like the jumbo sizes. They smell so good. It's just the perfectly undone silicon free sea kelp extract weightless moisturizing conditioner. And then same deal but the shampoo. And besides it being nice that it's all matching. It's like a matching set of bra and undies. <laughs> I like using these in conjunction with the other perfectly undone products because they just work a lot better because your hair isn't like filled with silicon before you start. These are silicon free. So they don't coat your hair in that kind of silicon layer which makes it really nice and like shiny looking but then it doesn't really take on products like it's just limp and shiny and it doesn't hold body and it doesn't hold wave. Hopefully that makes sense. I know certain conditioners and shampoos I've used make my hair so silky but then it doesn't hold any style. So these don't make my hair dry by any means but it just makes it like moldable you know. But moving on, this is the Perfectly Undone Wave Creating Seafoam for Soft Waves and I just pumped some of this onto my hands. I use a couple of pumps because I've got a lot of hair. Oh my gosh, I just freaking die for the scent of this stuff and I'm not just saying that, like it smells so good. So what I do is I just take a little bit at a time so I don't like oversaturate a certain area in product. If you want like beautiful defined waves, my key tip would be don't brush your hair. By all means brush your hair before you wash your hair, that's fine because you don't want to have like intensely knotty hair. But when your hair is wet, it kind of makes these natural little separated chunks, if you know what I mean, and you want to keep those, you don't want to brush them out and then your hair will just kind of frizz. Might do one more pump for good measure. So concentrate that last pump on the very front and kind of the like upper lengths of my hair since I've done the ends. And this is a foaming product so I find like it lasts forever anyway. Don't have to worry about using it up super fast. It's not like a hair mask or anything because I go through those babies like no tomorrow. I might actually zoom you out a little bit more so you can see like the lengths of my hair properly. So once I've kind of pulled the foam through my hair then I go in and I just scrunch it through and that really helps to define each little segment of hair just so you're not kind of dragging the hair down when you put the foam through. By all means stop there and your hair will still look good for the day particularly if you do have a little bit of natural wave already it's just going to help define it in a natural way but I'm going to go ahead and layer some more product and then you just want to either air dry or blow dry your hair. To be honest air drying is a little bit better because you don't get the frizzy flyaways like you do with blow drying but I'm just going to blow dry my hair today because A I'm heat styling it anyway and B we don't want to be here all day. pretty much dry now. It took like five minutes. I swear that stuff makes it faster to blow dry your hair. So as you can see it gave my hair tons of volume and it really does hold a nice amount of curl like I said like if you were just walking out the door still gives you enough wave but there's still a few little like frizzy parts for me 
bits that went a bit too curly and then some parts are like too straight like up here it's not waved enough for me so what I'll do then is I'll just move on to heat styling this is just a like five or six year old waver I've had this forever you can use a straightener too if you're just gonna go eh, 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 if you get what I mean but I just love using this because it's so massive and I have a lot of hair so I can really just be like meh, meh, meh on like one whole side of my hair and it's pretty much done. I'm just gonna use it to kind of straighten out these parts that are super ringlety and then just give a little bit more texture to some of the top layers. So over the areas I wanna make a little bit less curly, I kind of like hold it like that and it almost straightens them in a way. If you see what I mean? Like they kind of make it a little bit straighter and go down and it gives just a nice texture to the areas that didn't pick up quite as much wave as the other bits are here. So look how fast that was, my hair's like waved to the gods. For this kind of look I like to keep the ends quite straight too because it really gives it that like natural kind of look and that's what I feel like they did on the runway in my inspo picture, the ends are quite straight and that's what gives it that not like prom hairstyle curl look. So now that's all done, that took me like two minutes. Then I like to go in with a salt spray. This is the only salt spray I've ever owned that actually smells good. Usually they smell like the beach, but not in a good way. I've never really been a fan, but this one smells so good. And it's not crispy either. It just like makes it kind of more textured, but not crispy. It's nothing worse than like a sticky salt spray. I just like to spray this on the areas that were heat style because they can tend to get a little bit buffy. And it just gives them that retextured look and almost like the hair is not wet but do you know what I mean it's nice to have that kind of curl with like a gloss so bad at explaining like hairstyles but I hope you guys get what I mean let me know if this video is any good and I can do more hair tutorials because I feel like I'm not great at explaining but <laughs> let me know I use like a crap load of it because I have a lot of hair and don't forget the ends that's the bit that needs to be the most textured in my opinion. Obviously you can wave the ends of your hair too if you want but I just loved that relaxed look from Fashion Week that I'm recreating. And of course you can finish there if it's just like a casual day I'll just leave it and walk out the door but you should hairspray it if you don't have a natural wave to your hair but it's just going to help it hold throughout the day. And there's the finished hair. It's super relaxed and effortless but at the same time it's like voluminous and has this beautiful natural wave to it. It's such a good hairstyle for those of you who don't have a lot of volume to your hair. I hope my little tips and tricks helped you like that I scrunch it and that I don't brush it and all that kind of stuff. So let me know down below if you've ever tried any of these products and what you thought or if you're going to try out this hairstyle. Or if you do try it out make sure you tweet me a picture or send me a picture on Instagram or any of that because I love it when you guys send me your recreations of like my videos it's honestly the best thing ever like I just sit there all day like 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 so please leave me a like below if you did like the video and if you want to see any other hair tutorials like how I get my hair straight any other styles you see me wearing on Instagram let me know down below even if you want me to like try out a certain hairstyle that's for like a lob length that you'd like to know how to do hope you have a fab day and I'll talk to you guys again soon bye where was our first day? Macca's no don't say that that's not even true i remember it our first proper day anyway where was it um it's over <laughs> i got no don't idea don't me it was at pukakura park like the bowl when did we go there i actually remember who we went